So for this entire week, what I'm gonna be doing is every single time that I just have to have freaking sugar, I'm gonna go and do some physical activity instead. When I first started making this video, my intent was to give you guys a challenge video. What it actually turned into was kind of a deep look into what it's like when my sugar addiction is at its worst, when I'm struggling not to binge, and when I'm struggling to have any sort of balance with my mental health. So instead of editing it all out or scrapping it and starting a new challenge, I decided that I'm still going to give you guys this video because I want y'all to kind of be able to see a more raw look at what it looks like to deal with sugar addiction on a day basis. So if it seems like it's more in depth, that's why. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. Hello, lovely humans, and welcome back or welcome for the first time. I am so glad you're here either way. For those of you who have seen my videos before, there's a pretty good chance that you are very well aware that your girl is on a weight loss journey, which seems to be moving rather slowly because sugar is my kryptonite and I am over it. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm sick of having to make videos saying, oh, I lost some weight, but oh, just kidding, because my sugar addiction got out of control again. Enough already! So I'm trying another thing to see if it helps me to find some balance and get myself in check. I started feeling the inspiration last night, actually, while watching Food Theory's newest video, where Mad Pat and like a bunch of other people basically just quit added sugar for 30 days. And he was talking a lot about the dopamine effect of sugar. I also have OCD, which the short version is we got some issues with dopamine and always searching for that like reward system and kind of needing it. And I got to thinking about it and I was like, okay, well, I'm definitely pretty regularly seeking that dopamine hit with, you know, all the sugar I'd be hunting down instead of just trying to magically go without because it's clearly not going well. Like maybe I can try to replace it but in a healthier way. So what am I going to do to hunt down those dopamine levels? Well, every single time that I get hit super, super hard with the desire to just go ham is instead I'm going to go and hunt down some sort of physical activity. It can be cardio. It can be weightlifting, anything active. It can be stretching, something that makes me feel good after. And I didn't really like fully commit to this idea until I noticed this morning that some chocolates that my husband got me for Valentine's Day were just calling my name. Hey, sexy lady. And I was like, um, yes, I've had a couple, but maybe I need to like calm it down a little. So I decided to go to the gym to distract myself. Yes, it actually worked pretty well. It made me feel good about myself, but also I actually felt like I was getting that dopamine hit from the gym because I was over there. I'm like, you know, doing my weightlifting and I'm just like, heck yeah. I'm here with a bunch of other people that want to change their freaking lives. And I'm a part of it. It made me feel good. Today worked out really well. I was chasing that dopamine high at the gym. Minus one little, uh, snafu. I forgot my water bottle. And then I continued my dopamine high and probably not the wisest choice after. Some shopping. But it kind of worked out well. So I got some clothes that made me feel good about myself. That's been something that I really struggle with as a larger woman lately. So when I do find things that make me feel good, it makes me really happy. I cannot tell y'all how blessed I feel to have found these pants. I needed some ones I could actually breathe in and they make my butt look amazing. So I came home. I had my lunch. I continued the struggle with this half of a water bottle. But hey, I'm like half-ish done. I'll take it. And I'm actually feeling really good about myself. So I'm like, yep. Yeah, I think I can do this for a week. I also put those Valentine's Day chocolates buried in our messy pantry so they were out of sight and out of mind. Hey lovely humans. We survived day two. I actually didn't even have all that much to film today because I literally just felt like a normal person going about her day. I had a little bit of anxiety around food but nothing that really warranted me actually having to be like hey I need to get up and go for a run around the block or something which was kind of nice. I still feel like I kind of overate a little bit. I had a Reese's this morning at work and then over the course of the day I had a few of those little Valentine's Day candies that my husband got me and I think four of the little Sour Patch gummies over the course of a good chunk of hours. My father-in-law invited us over for dinner and we had ice cream with those little shortbread cookies, but it wasn't the style of ice cream that I would do in my like big girl days. 
where it's humongous bowl. It's like a normal size bowl with like a little bit of shortbread cookies. To me, it actually felt like a kind of balanced day. Although to be fair, I probably didn't need the Sour Patch Kids or the Valentine's Day candies, but they didn't feel so extravagant that I felt like I had to distract myself from them. This cat, I swear. He has been trying to stop the entire time all over my freaking camera. He's precious. He's like, ooh, ooh, more attention? Let me come towards this thing that you're holding. Always. Always. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm making a video here. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> it is a Saturday morning. I am headed to my dad's. That's kind of our tradition is every Saturday I go over there. Sometimes I work on the house. Sometimes I make a little fire in the backyard, something like that. As of this morning, I've done really good today so far. I didn't cave and have any of the Valentine's Day chocolate, so I am very proud of myself. And it wasn't even a craving so bad that I had to distract myself, so that's a first. But me and my dad usually struggle because we both love our sugar, so we're going to see how that goes. One hour later. My dad and I did go out to eat for lunch, and I was already craving dessert, so I did a preemptive strike and got a calf workout in on the rocking chairs. And it worked because I managed to get chicken dumplings, which I demolished before I remember to take a picture with broccoli and some apples, which was on their low calorie menu. So I was pretty proud of myself. Unfortunately, when I got home, my sugar cravings kicked in again. So after staring angrily into the void for a few minutes, I decided that I needed to get a snack that was not dessert. Something that's been working really well for me is getting the little Chobani flip yogurts. They're a little sweeter than average. And of course, you've got Greek yogurt as a base. So I guess it's sort of healthier. <laughs> The way I see it, yogurt works a little bit better than going out and getting a giant piece of cake, which is what I wanted, but at least this took care of my craving. It is painfully early Sunday morning, so day four, and I am very frustrated with myself. Sorry if you can hear the noise of my car, but it's 28 degrees outside, so I will not be turning off the engine or the heat. I'm literally lighting this by light of my review mirror. Oh, fancy! Sunday was weigh-in day. I was 248, which is the biggest I have been, aside from when I initially started this journey, but it's the biggest since then. Basically, like, right around the time I finished my mini stepper challenge, I had started losing weight, and I, because I had started feeling good about working out regularly I was eating a little bit better and then I think I just let my guard down and that's one of the things that's the most exhausting to me about weight loss is you pretty much always have to be focused and on it if you want to actually continue to lose especially when you don't have enough muscle mass to just eat 2,000 calories a day if I want to lose weight I need to be at like 1600 to lose anything and it's not even a lot so I was thinking of those first three days that I'd filmed and I was like okay I had like a little candy here and a little candy there but overall I didn't actually go nuts but if I think about it in the course so over the last few weeks, I've had days where I was so tired I ate out. Yesterday, I did good. I actually focused in terms of like when we went out to eat on healthy stuff because that was an option. But when we're half dead and we go to places like Wendy's, I could get a salad there. But have I been getting a salad? No, you have not. I need to get my crap together. I guess there's no other way around it. And right now it just feels kind of impossible because I feel like I've just been fighting myself for the last... I don't know, lifetime <laughs> to try to make healthy choices. And I just wish it wasn't such a struggle. I'm frustrated and all I want to do right now is go and get some filled donuts and stuff my face, drown my sorrows, which is obviously the polar opposite of what I need to do or will be doing. So instead, I'm going to go into work for a little bit and then I am going to go and to a state park because I have a short day at work and go do some hiking with my husband so I can at least make some healthy choices there. Three hours later. Good news, I made it home without stopping for anything. I definitely was getting a real bad impulse to go to Dunkin' Donuts and as you can see, instead I like shredded my face. So yay OCD, thank you buddy. It's so helpful. But we at least made it without the extra sugar. I am definitely starving and ready for lunch. I'm literally feeling one heck of a compulsive need to get junk food. Maybe I'll just take two seconds when I get inside and on the stair stepper and see if I can distract myself to at least survive until Bucky's and hopefully not mess it up at Bucky's. I'm struggling today, y'all. Like, oh my gosh. For those of you guys that have seen at least a few of my videos and have noticed a trend of like, I'm on it and then I am struggling hard and then I'm on it again. That's really just how this whole journey is going for me. With this sugar addiction, I am constantly fighting myself and my perception of reality in terms of my intake. So you'll probably notice throughout this video or already have noticed that in the video, I'm like, oh, okay, this doesn't seem like that much sugar or oh, this doesn't seem that out of control. When I go back and I edit these things and I'm in like a better mental space, I'm looking at the things I do and I'm like, holy crap, I was like, 
like delusional. That is a terrible diet or a terrible intake. But the reason I'm still continuing to include this in my videos is because I just want you guys to have an honest idea of what it's like for someone who is struggling with sugar and food addiction, most specifically sugar. I don't want to just show the good parts of this journey. I want this to actually be real and authentic because anybody can lie on the internet and just show the good parts, but that's not realistic for my journey. Like I'm most definitely struggling sometimes and I want to make sure that I'm just being real with you guys. So hopefully you guys appreciate it and you're not just sick to death of seeing me like screw up my diet. <laughs> but I'm trying. I promise you I am. We're on our way to Eisenhower State Park, guys. We are stopped by Bucky's on the way there. Back in the day when I was binge eating on the regular, when we would go to Bucky's, when we would go for our hikes, I would always get two sandwiches. So like a burrito and a sandwich or like a burrito and like a brisket wrap or something. And then I would get some sort of side and I would get two different desserts and just like gorge my way through it. This time I got one Philly cheesesteak wrap. We got pineapples as a side. So it was a little bit healthier than say like chips or something. And I did get a dessert, which I ate half of and then gave the rest to Javi because they were a lot bigger than I remembered. And actually I'm pretty proud of myself because that's a pretty drastic difference from what it used to be. So once we got to the state park, we took a minute to switch out of our regular shoes and get into our hiking boots. Just trying to get all my shoes these days is honestly a lot harder with my gut in the way. And it was kind of just an extra reminder of things that I want to eventually be able to do better when I lose the weight. So I got some extra motivation because my gut was getting in my stinking way. <laughs> We had so much fun hiking the park. It was so stinking rocky and so stinking muddy, though. The terrain was kind of crazy. Oh, that one's slippery. What are you playing, King of the Hill? Or are you trying to wipe your mud off? <laughs> oh my gosh. And ladies and gents, that's where we almost took Javi to the hospital. It was so clear outside that day that we could actually see the moon in the sky in the middle of the day, which was kind of cool. Javi was kind enough to play the role of trail guide for us. Oh, and here's where he tried to cash in on our life insurance policy so he can get a picture of me on the cliffs. Five hundred twenty-five thousand six hundred steps. Javi's in the potty, so I'm gonna give you guys a quick update. Basically, I'm just so glad we did this. When I do things like this, and I get to see how crazy, amazing nature is, even when it's like chock full of rocks and like insane amounts of mud. Seriously, look at those shoes. They are so kicked on. It is insane. We were like slipping and sliding all over the place, and nearly falling, and kept catching ourselves with our walking sticks. I'm having so much fun, and it's just kind of the reminder that this is what life is about. Not just hiking, but, you know, going out, enjoying nature, and doing things that are fulfilling. And yes, there is that dopamine hit, of course, when you have food. But I gotta say, nature's dopamine hits a whole lot harder. I'm glad we did this. I'm not craving sugar anywhere near as bad. Two hours later. We survived! It's like sunset. So... It took us a little while, but we freaking made it. Honestly, that definitely took care of the urge for sugar. Don't get me wrong. If it's in front of me, I would still be like... But... I'm not having some fiendish cravings. I'm just like, heck yes, I had a fulfilling afternoon. That is how life should be. Well, that was slightly awkward. I'm trying to get out of my hiking shoes and my feet hurt. So I apparently moaned a little louder than I thought I did while taking off the shoes because I was just like, oh, thank God, sweet relief for my feet. Some people turned around and stared because they didn't know what the heck was going on in this car. <laughs> awkward. Plant my face in a pillow and never go out again. I have discovered a kink in my plan. The whole idea was every single time that like horrifying ragey impulse that where I like have to have sugar, I'm going to die hits. The idea was go distract myself and, you know, exercise until I can get a dopamine hit off of that and get rid of the, oh my God, I got to have it now problem that I'm having with sugar. Well, the biggest problems that I'm having in terms of location for sugar are impulses that hit when I'm in the car and when I'm at work. Every day when I go to get my salad at lunch and try and be healthy, they almost always have a dessert that I want in there. There's not really like a private area where I can just be like, excuse me, I'm gonna go do some lunges until I stop wanting this cheesecake. And then like on the way home, I'm kind of having the same problem. Like what am I supposed to do? Stop by the side of the road and do squats? That's how we get abducted and no thank you. Oh hell no! I'm honestly so frustrated. I woke up this morning, tired as all heck. My cat kept trying to like squash my arm. I was sleeping on my side like this and one cat was sleeping here and one was sleeping here and I was like, y'all, I need to breathe. Da, 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 da. 
It's the one. Like, calm it down and maybe don't crush me. So I didn't sleep well. So I'm exhausted. Literally the like compulsive need impulse, whatever you want to call it, where I was just like, I have to have some sugar. It has hit harder today than it has, I think, in at least a month, if not months. I literally felt like an addict who just had to get her fix. I was completely fixated on it. I could not function at all. It started a little bit when I was at lunch. I had a cheesecake with my salad and I was like, I've literally had the cheesecake before. Yeah, it's good, but it's not anything to be like, oh my God, it's amazing about. And so I was like, okay, why did I even get that? I couldn't slow down enough to even be like, hey, this is an impulse of something that I don't need. Maybe I should just have my actual food and enjoy that. And then from there, it just kind of got worse. On the way home, it just hit so hard. I was fixated. I was like struggling to even focus on driving. And I was like, the hell, man? Like that's unsafe. Can't be focusing on sugar so hard you can't drive. Seriously? So I had to go to Walmart to grab some stuff. When I went in there, I could not control myself. I knew that the impulse was hitting hard. And so I was trying to find a way around it. Like initially, I was like, maybe I just shouldn't go to the store. But then I was like, well, crap, I actually have to get this stuff. And so I was like, okay, the thing I've been fixating on all week anyways is the filled donuts from Walmart, the like heart shaped ones that they have for Valentine's Day. I've been craving one. The problem is it's no longer Valentine's Day. So they are out of them. In my like fixation on that specific donut, everything on my OCD is going so freaking strong because not only am I a sugar addict, I am now compulsively crave the sugar. So that's not helpful either. And I like shredded my face on the way there. Fun times. So got to Walmart. I was like trying to find something to substitute for that ridiculously strong craving. I was like, maybe if I just have one thing and then focus, like when I get home where I can actually do the exercise, I can like freaking focus there. What I ended up getting was a piece of cake there, but that used to be like my favorite go-to thing. And I would sometimes get two of them in my binging days because it wasn't the donuts I wanted. I was having trouble just being good with just that. And I ended up buying a little container of the edible cookie dough. I got a bag of those Lindor truffles. I'm even now I'm trying to pick my face. <sighs> Clearly this energy is not very helpful right now. And on the way to checkout, that's when I saw one of those seasonal flavors and that's what always gets me. And I literally got all of that crap that I didn't need. And even then in my like fixation, this little voice in my head said, you know, you're not helping yourself by bringing all of this crap home because you're not gonna be able to stop. I'm not good at portioning at home. If it's there, I'm like, oh, it's bad. Couldn't get the balance. Checked out with all of that crap. I get to the car. I literally cannot even wait till I get home. Urges are hitting so freaking hard. I'm like inhaling this Kit Kat. That Kit Kat was disgusting. Do not get the maple donut one, save your time. After the first bite, I knew it was gross and I was not enjoying it. But my like need at that point for sugar was so strong. I bad arsed my way through the entire thing. I literally felt like I was at war with myself in my head. Part of me was like, gorge yourself until you die. And the other part was like, what the hell are you doing for the love of God? Put the Kit Kat down. And so I get home and I'm like still fighting with that energy. And I get like a scoop of cookie dough while I'm like getting my cake ready. I sit down for two seconds. At that point, my brain is starting to try to calm down partially because it realizes that I bought the sugar already but also because it was rational Heather coming to the forefront. This makes me sound like I have like multiple personalities. Oh, I just am struggling. I can get like a third of the way through the cake and I'm just like, what the frick am I doing? So I made myself get up and throw it away. Still wasn't done. I at least like went and got a spoonful of cookie dough, but after the cookie dough, I was at least able to like pull myself back and be like, oh my God, woman, enough, like stop. And then now we're filming this. <laughs> Well, that was quite an adventure. I have not felt that out of control in a while. And it is kind of horrifying. Maybe instead of, ooh, ooh, here's the troubleshooting part. Rational Heather coming back. Okay, now that the impulse is gone, I can actually think straight. Instead of getting a salad at work, I need to freaking make the effort, put together a salad at home in some capacity and bring it to work with me that way. So I can just eat it where I'm not tempted by super sugary coffees and desserts and then have my husband have my card because that way I can't buy it even if I am tempted. That way when I'm on the way home, the impulse hits, oh freaking well, I've got to wait until Javi gets home to go to the store. I feel like I'm out of control at this point. Y'all know what set this off. Anytime the scale moves up because I didn't make great choices, but I, in my head, had thought I was making like okay-ish choices. I get so bummed out and frustrated about it. I honestly feel like I'm almost self-sabotaging. I had a high weigh-in yesterday and that has really been screwing with my brain because in my head, I'm just kind of like, oh, whatever. I'm never gonna be able to lose weight anyways. Just might as well eat myself silly. Like that's all we're not thinking. We don't wanna do that. But that's kind of where I've been. So, <laughs> sorry, that was long. 
long, but we're going to try and get our crap together. I sincerely hope that none of you guys are dealing with sugar addiction to this degree because it's awful and I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy or really any addiction to any degree because I think they all collectively suck in different ways. We're going to go work out. Thanks for listening to me uh, struggle and rant. Love y'all. Well, I feel a lot more mentally stable this morning, thank God, because yesterday was going to get old real fast if that kind of crap continued. Me and my husband kind of came up with a plan yesterday. He is going to take the Lindor truffles to work, so I'm not tempted with them, but he forgot them this morning, so I had one. (laughs) I'm going to make sure he gets them next time. And then I realized, like, while I was having breakfast, I pretty much was, like, automatically going to get a scoop of cookie dough. And I'm, like, sitting there watching it, and I'm like, the hell am I doing? It's breakfast. I do not need cookie dough for breakfast. So even though it kind of made me die a little or really a lot inside I threw out the rest of the cookie dough. Growing up we were not exactly like the richest of families so it kind of makes me die inside to get rid of food. I know realistically though that it's almost healthier for me to throw away a few dollars just trashing the cookie dough than it would be to like eat myself into the grave a little sooner. So at least we're off to a good start. I had to run some errands that required a credit card so I took a banana with me to make sure I was not tempted by drive throughs Hi Noogie. I just want to say like, it is insane how much of a difference just a day makes and having good weather and a better mindset. I got mostly decent sleep last night, but the high for today is like 77. I have the windows open, finally getting my sunshine and my gentle breeze in. And I feel like a whole new person. I've been trying to be proactive about all the things that give me good mental health, like halfway through the big heifer at this point of water so that I'm not focusing on dessert. I feel like I'm not actually having to chase that dopamine hit right now. And it's kind of nice. I also deep cleaned half the house and I'm about to go do the other half. This video started off as my intent to basically chase a different dopamine hit and just thinking that was going to like magically transform my life. Instead, I realized that yes, it is a good habit to try to do if you're craving something, go exercise. But it was a lot more eye-opening for just how bad my relationship with food has gotten and how I need to be proactive with just moving my body. This started off as a challenge video and ended up just being like, I'm learning about myself. Who knew that could happen? (laughs) I almost forgot to mention. I don't think necessarily substituting one high for another in regards to like sugar versus exercise is necessarily the healthiest approach. I was sort of just desperately grasping at straws to do anything that would be a better habit than stuffing my face all the time. So just know, you know, things don't necessarily need to be in extremes, but I am glad I tried this and I'm actually going to keep trying it. I know that I've had to kind of make some adjustments as I go because, you know, the whole I can't work out while I'm at work thing. I've been able to troubleshoot at least a little bit and I feel like that puts me another step in the right direction. I'm just curious, have you guys tried any sort of substitutions for your cravings when they hit and have they been successful? Let me know below. I really appreciate you guys kind of just hanging out with me as I go through this struggle of trying to figure out how to live a healthy life sustainably and to just get my addictions under control. You guys have always, for the most part, been so supportive in the comments and I really appreciate that because for those of you guys who are on the same journey with me trying to get healthy, y'all know it's hard. It's not just a matter of calories in, calories out. That's the technical aspect. The follow through is that's where the battle is. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys that take the time to watch it, especially the ones that have made it this far in the video. Seriously, love you guys. If you guys just want to kind of continue along this journey with me, make sure to subscribe and hey, leave an encouraging comment down below. Lord knows we could all use it. But I absolutely love you guys. I'm so grateful you're here. And I sincerely hope that every single one of you has a wonderful day. And I'm going to go take myself on a hot girl walk. Bye bye. Thank you.